Uh, often people say that uh, uh, people say that a region gives you the errors inside the, the structure because actually we use the theoretical derivation the error in imposing uh, the error given by the region. In reality, that type of error is not so, so much reliable to understand that how much is the variability of the region uh, in, uh, in your simulations. So uh, what we did was implementing the uh, SIP law for uh, leave one out, uh, meaning that, uh, as I told you before, actually, uh, if we have n measurement, this component uh, take care of uh, taking away one of them one measure, performing the cridging on the other, uh, estimating the value on the on the uh, on the place that we were taken away, and then making the difference between the estimate and uh, and uh, the estimate and the and the measurement, and deducing the error from from it. The other thing that is that uh, actually you there is a further step. In this way, you have the error in just the place where you have measurements. Because you take a, one measure out, you do the creasing in the other places, and then you use the single place where you, you took out the value to, to, get, to estimate the error. So I repeat, for the n measurements, you have n errors, specially. So now, but you want the error also, also the error specialized. So you can use the cridging again so over the, the estimation of the error to get the estimate of the, of the error. And then obviously you can do the error, the error, the error, the error. So that is kind of, and this is what SIC law does. This is the, the procedure that I, I just illustrated. First, you take away the first one, and you estimate the region on the other. Then you take away the second one, then the third one, and uh, and so on. So the, from the point of view of the code, the code is not very difficult. You have just to, to do the repetition. But if you try to do this, for instance, in R, where there is a very good package for doing the region the estimation, you, you literally take days for, do, for doing this for doing this thing, and here is much more faster. So the results is a, a, a thing like that, where you have obviously uh, this is present, uh, presenting the map of the temperature and the distribution of the error. In, in this case, in the places where we have measurements. And the dimension of the ball is uh, uh, related to the to the estimation of, of the error. And you can do obviously for every day. So sometimes if the error is important for you, you can do. It. And. Um, this is, for, uh, for instance, was using one of the semi diagram, which is the Bessel one, but in a while, uh, in, the, in a while, I will show you all the, the semi variable that we can estimate. So, short message here.